Hey everybody, welcome back to JDM World. Is your computer a little dim? Do you need a little bling for your machine to make it stand out? Well today we're going to look at how I've added uh, additional RGB lighting to my uh, NZXD H500i. Now this is the model that already includes a couple of LED strips inside of it, but as many people have found out, if you want to add fans and other LED strips, the, the included controller isn't really enough and you really have to step out and add some additional pieces to make it all work. So we'll step through that and hopefully it'll inspire you to add RGB to your machine as well. To add additional RGB to my machine, I'm going to use two fans from NZXT, the AER RGB2, both 120 and 140, which you see here, and then the Hue 2 RGB lighting kit, and this includes four LED light strips. Basically, what will happen is that you'll need to power your fans off your system board or another device in your PC, and this controller box is where all of your devices that you're adding will plug in. So you'll daisy chain your fans together and then plug into the back, and then your RGB strips which look like this, will also plug into the back of that controller as well. And then you'll use the NZXT software to, uh, to configure your lighting. Now we're gonna jump in and go through the actual install process. We've moved back upstairs and we're gonna see if we can fire this up and uh, configure this RGB and see what it looks like. All right, it appears that both the LED strips and the fans are lit up and spinning. 
So I think we were successful as far as that's concerned. Now we're going to go ahead and see if we can fire up the software and make some changes and turn this uh, white into blue. Okay, we've got the Q software open and on the left side, if you come down to lighting, it'll bring you to this screen. Um, as you can see, we've added the Hue 2 and it automatically identified that and it shows the fans as well as the two LED strips that we are controlling with the Hue 2. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and select all, which is all of the devices that have been found in this unit. And uh, then if you come over to this side, you can make changes, right? So uh, as an example, if you pick fixed and then you select the color and then down at the bottom, click apply, it should then change it to match, right? So um, it's pretty easy to do that. Um, and everything is changing as I expected it to. Um, now what I would like to do is use a smart controller and match this to GPU temperature, right? And if you look, it's got a pre-made scale of uh, blue at 20 degrees Celsius all the way up to red at 100 degree. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and everything should look blue over there. I've already got the video card set for that same blue and the uh, memory which is Corsair is cycling between blue and white. Now I like that just to, to have a little additional kind of motion over there. But um, this, is a, this is a fun setting that you can use as you play games and um, it lets you understand the temperature of your machine uh, with a visual stimulus rather than having to reply, rely on something on screen. So hopefully, hopefully this has helped you. Um, if so, please like and subscribe.